Hello, this is SD. We are going to continue our streak, which is currently at 7. I hope that you're well. I've turned the sound up on my mic slightly for this recording, as I've noticed in a few of them. It's annoying because the sound levels of the game's music, there are certain sectors, and the, the Sector 8 is one of them where it's notably louder than other sectors. So it's kind of difficult to get it, and I tend to, I tend to do my, um, my tests here on the front screen, which... The music here is fairly quiet, so hopefully when we get to later in the run, the sound of my voice will actually be a little bit more audible. So we've rolled Fed B for this. This is an extremely average ship. It's, you know, it's got an artillery system that sucks, although it does come upgraded. It's not good in the long run, it can occasionally do useful things early on. You've got a Lido missile and some dual lasers. The, the, the dual lasers on a four-slot sh setup, that's quite good. And you have a slug who can go on piloting immediately. But, you know, you don't have any systems that are particularly useful here. You also start with lots of power. I don't know why this ship starts with so much power. I think they went... They gave it enough power to power up everything without considering the Zoltan. So you have, like, this... You can power everything, including your med bay, to start with. Here and here seem like the first two places to go. If we see an early store, we most likely won't go for it unless we get a drop, because this ship doesn't have anything to sell. We will aid the civilian ship. This is a possible double reward. Fortunately, their heavy laser will fire before the ion stunner. Take that down. We shouldn't need to fire any more missiles because they have a mantis repairing and our artillery will do some damage. So the artillery, because we have it at level 2, takes 40 seconds to go off. Typically I only bother using this in the early bits of the run before I get my shields up. Then I divert my power into shields because they're more useful. But sometimes it can come in handy even after that. And certainly it makes fights take less time. Oh, welcome aboard, Mantis. Gonna put this Mantis indoors. They're bad at repairs. Oh, that's a store. I'm not going there. The Mantis is bad at repairs, but I don't necessarily want a Mantis on, like, my weapons. I find them awkward there, because if they get mind-controlled, it's a little bit difficult to dislodge them. Oh great, we get the shield hack. And they're mind controlling us in our weapons room. Wee. Thank god we dodged that. Only taking two or three points of damage against this fucking fight is not something I'm going to complain too, ha too badly about. We dodged a shot that was aimed at our weapons, which is extremely helpful. Oh! Well, we took their burst too. Yeah, we're now thoroughly in the driver's seat. Um, I'm still not going to that store. Let's get our shields up. A useful thing we can do now, because we have level 3 shields, if we run our Zoltan in there, we can actually power that. And this can enable us to hold off single points of ion damage. However, I will mostly keep them in engines. Take at least one more. I might go here, here. I want to get these nebula jumps. 
probably not getting a store this sector. That's fine. Okay, you get over there now. I mean, they hit us anyway because they lined that up with the asteroid, but had we not done that, we'd have taken damage from the asteroid and from the heavy laser. So we can't be too unhappy. Send the Mantis to very slowly try to fix that bridge. Oh good. Asteroid set a fire over there. You get in there. Don't know why I depowered the weapons, I don't need to do that. We need one more fight, basically, to get our shields up. Two if it ends up being a low scrap reward fight, but... Hopefully that's not going to be what happens. Get back to your correct positions. Our distress options aren't that good, and that doesn't really see anything. This on the other hand, very useful. Don't actually care about the mind controlled soul. My shield will be back before that fires. And we take our double reward, get my shields up. Actually, I can do this, I guess. hard to keep that missile down because of the NG. On the other hand, if we get fires, it won't be so hard. Artillery beam's gonna blow them up here anyway, but... Now, typically here I'd be looking to get my scrap up to 80. I might actually just upgrade my weapon so I can use dual lasers first too, even before being able to afford hacking, because that's an incredibly powerful weapon combo, and I have the power for it. Give me seven to ten scrap now. Whoa. Yeah, I am gonna do this. This isn't strictly necessary right now, but it's such an improvement. It will help out loads against like enemies that are trying to run away or anything like that. I can start stockpiling ammo for when I later upgrade back onto the Lido. Yeah, 
The ship's layout against borders kind of sucks. It's a little awkward to vent areas, especially like around your your piloting and around weapons and shields in particular. They are really difficult to dislodge borders from. Hmm. How good are my distress options? I have. Eh, it's they're not that great. I mean, I have a I have an artillery beam. That's about it. And I don't think Mantis give. There's a couple I think slugs too. But I can more importantly see more beacons. But it's going here, here. And this enemy has good weapons, but not as good as mine. Well, they would be probably about equal if they were actually powering all their stuff, but they're not, and I am. So in that sense, mine are better. Oh, nice fire. Down here, we can make our way up here later. Give me three things. How many jumps do we have? It looks like six. One, two, three, four, five. So yeah, take this. Take one extra one, I don't know which is better. I guess this sees this early and thus earlier and lets me know if that's a storm. That's all it does. Aid the civilian ship, and it's time for training. I can't auto-train weapons, unfortunately, but I'll train everything else. Shields will be slow since they only have one laser. I wish that many beam were another laser. rotate around clockwise. Make sure that the Zoltan doesn't depower stuff to cause nonsense. <laughs> Shield skill going much faster this time. You don't even have level one of eight. Yeah, we've actually already maxed it out. I suppose that it helps that we have a human on that, so he gets skill faster, but still. Doesn't seem like we've had much dodge luck so far. I guess that's what happens when you put a Zoltan on piloting. Oh. 
The ship is maybe O2 crew, crew killable afterwards. It's a little awkward. The fact that they have rock lighting helps because it potentially gives them more hull. Wow, that was about four in a row there. Dodge is coming a little bit faster this time. One more. Oh, come on. Thank you. Speed hack off now. Guess you might as well go there, and not that it enormously matters since as long as I uh, have the slug, I can see what's going on over there. Yeah, level one oxygen, and we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven more times we can hit this. Potentially more, depending on rock resists. I think on average they should get one resist. Oh, there's... There it is. It's, what, 15%? Number of times that's gonna proc out of eight. It's one or two, actually, on average. 15 goes into 106 in a bit times. Mm. The fire here is kind of annoying because it drags second crew member in, but it also drains oxygen from this specific room, so I don't mind too much. Ooh, got another resist. As long as this ship doesn't run away, we'll get the O2 Fuck off. I suppose I should have included a improbably large series of dodges among the things that could cost us a good kill. But I think we're still on track. We can hit 
four more times, at least, without any resists, before they blow up. Okay, it's hit 5% in that room specifically. And the fire wasn't in there for that long. Yeah, there we go. That should do it. The rock might fix it in time. But if they do, we just break it again one more time, and that's definitely it. Welcome aboard, NG. Well, you can go indoors, and this mantis can go on shields now. We've already got most of that diverse crew achievement that you can get on the Kestrel ships. Yeah, we just need a rock. It definitely looks pretty killable as well. Okay. We just need to get this NG over here, so we'll hit this guy. I could train the NG on all my systems now, but I can't be bothered. Well, I couldn't do it now, I would need to get them to wait until they board the second time. over little NG. You go help out. Ah, they have level 2 oxygen. That will make things a little bit more annoying. However, they're down to just one crew member, which will be nice if we want to, uh, we could potentially kill them by just shooting this room and taking out their hit points. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven times fifteen is 105. Now, the great danger and why I won't do this is we could potentially have them at a certain threshold and then set a fire, causing them to run out of the room. It might just happen naturally while we do this pretty good chance, actually, that we get a fire at some point. And normally getting a fire in level 2 Octoon when you're trying to do this sort of crew kill is bad, but when they only have one crew member, it's just... it's and they have no medical unit, it's great. There we go. They might put this out, they might not. Even if they do put it out there, hit points will be so low that we can just crew kill that way. And speaking of just crew killing that way... Since their hit points were low enough they were running from the fire, I knew they were low enough that we could do that. They run at 25% of their max health. I think we're not diving, but I'm now suddenly not sure. We can survive a dive if we do, though. Shoot those weapons because I don't want my shields to be gone when the solo flare goes off. A good weapon drop like this really makes you appreciate how terrible the artillery beam is. Like, why would I ever want to use that now? I can either really slowly do, da do damage by putting two power into a system, or I can do damage actually quickly by putting two power into a system. This can fire three times in the time it takes the artillery to fire once, and it actually, you know, synergizes with my other stuff on the ship instead of just being one thing off on its own that doesn't really sync up with anything else.
Nice dodge. Just before it could fire. Stop sending fires in my oxygen, it's annoying. Yep. Wow. So, as far as sectors go, for sector ones, this is a 10 out of 10. Two free crew, a fucking free burst laser two. Enormous amounts of jumps. No, I'm not spending 14 scrap upgrading my sensors. We'll go Zoltan. More stores there. I want to get hacking and that will put me way, way out in front of where I need to be. How much scrap did we make in that sector? Yeah, we made 183 scrap and we had a 40 scrap drop, which was obviously the burst two. Yeah, dock with the science ship. We get some free stuff. Cool. That can often turn into fights where I believe you typically get drone drops. But in this case, it is just the more neutral option. One moment. Okay, I'm back. We have to deal with these annoying borders. <laughs> This is sort of what I'm talking about. This is very difficult to vent. Let's... You do actually have more vents than it appears, because you can vent like from the external, the lower ones, as long as you clear the correct room. Yeah, sure, go forward to there. There's a bunch of jumps up here that... I mean, this jump, I think, is physically impossible for me to re reach, considering I started here. My fastest would be, what, one, two, three, four... Even if I had distraction boys, I don't think... Maybe if I had distraction boys and I got a delay, it would be possible. But, yeah, that's, that's not happening. So I hope that my stores aren't up in that little, little pocket up here. Because that would suck. Yes. That's what I came out to do. I'm gonna take a couple extra jumps even though they don't see anything, because I'm gonna go up through this nebula and I don't want to be too far ahead of the fleet pursuit and lose jumps. Yuck! That's a pretty good offer, but primarily I just took it to end this stupid fight. Because this is, was spooky as fuck. I have a 
this one. We really want to stop. Okay, we get this message. I would always help the Zoltan ship here, because that means you fight a mantis rather than fighting a Zoltan ship. And the rewards are equivalent, and fighting a, ma a mantis ship is always better than fighting a Zoltan ship. They're never fixing that. This fight's already over. Fighting a Zoltan ship, we would maybe. Maybe. Rewards, while equivalent, are not very good in that event. I'm not gonna risk this. I like where we are with our crew. And there's a star. Should I take... I might want to take a jump or two more just so that... If we get a little bit more scrap, we can afford cloaking there. Although, really, we need some improvements as well. Some repairs. Yeah, if they have cloaking but not hacking, I'd like to be able to get that. And a side of the, um, the Federation ships that I think is probably not appreciated as much in terms of what makes artillery bad, it's not just that it occupies a system slot, but it also makes it, much like I mentioned with Rock B, with not having doors. You have five systems you don't have. You've got five systems that you don't have already, and they're all going to be able to turn off in stores. Normally, if you had a system slot filled with a non-ideal system, at least, you know, that system couldn't show up in stores, but artillery never shows up in stores anyway, so you don't benefit even from having it removed from the system pool, it's just basically dead weight on your ship. At this point, if we go to the store and it has cloaking, we can buy that and still get six repairs. I wonder if it's worth, actually, considering that we have a nebula jump, I think we'll just take that. And then leave. If we get more scrap in this pool, and if not, looks like we're going to. Safe fight. Yeah, because of that problem of it's a little bit more difficult to get the systems that you want, you're more likely to see systems that aren't cloaking and hacking, basically. Uh, I prioritize getting them when I actually see them a little bit higher than I would on the ships. I, I prioritize those things very, very highly anyway. But, like, if you don't get cloaking the one time, when you see it, it might be the only time. Okay, we've got two shots. And indeed, they have cloaking here. I wish I could afford cloaking and stealth weapons. I'm sure you've heard me say that before, but it bears repeating. Now, this ship, this store could have hacking, but I'm going to get the cloaking because if it turns out this doesn't have hacking, I don't have time to come back here to buy cloaking. So get the good system that is here in front of me and then repair as much as I can. Because we have very strong weapons, I'm more inclined to lay out, you know, all the scrap that you have to, to get cloaking this early than I would be otherwise. Uh, we cannot do that quest. Well, a bunch of nothing after that, but whatever. Um, I'm gonna go abandoned here, because abandoned sectors are... are quite high scrap, they're in, you know, certainly the top five. And they're guaranteed to have two stores, so it's not like we're hugely less likely to find good stuff in terms of stores relative to an NG sector. It's 2 versus 2.5. I think that's a reasonable, a reasonable trade-off. And we have one scrap right now anyway, so any NG store we find might just be wasted.
probably avoiding that store and looking for the later one. Yikes! Yeah, I'm, I'm really glad that we aren't just reliant on our weapons and the artillery here, but we can actually cloak this first volley, because this is an incredibly strong set. You could kill the flagship with those weapons. In fact, you could probably kill the flagship with not this ship exactly as it is, but if you just took this ship and got upgrades and no further systems or um, or weapons, you, you could win. You could double burst twos and mini beam with hack and you hack shields and absolutely blast them. I'm fairly sure I have one with this weapon set up on one of the stealth ships that starts with a mini beam. I would stop having events where we're just getting bored and nothing else happens. We will attack the Lanius ship. in there that they temporarily left the room because there's no air. Okay, we double our scrap. We could go here, but we don't have enough to buy what we would want, so let's just try to gather 26 more scrap as soon as we can. Yeah, scan the ship for life forms. Sell the Lido for hacking now, which I would do. But preferably, we don't need to do that. This ship is not especially dangerous. Let's open all these then. It had already gone past our our ship, and then it hit the frigging laser I was firing at them. Okay, you better run away from my slug. I took one look at him and decided he didn't want any part of that.
Three jumps here before the exit or two. Let's go this way in case it's three. way if they fix it they will engage the hack but it'll only be level one which is... actually that was only level one to begin with they just high rolled and got rid of both of my shield weapons oh. i just pre-cloaked there because i wanted the asteroids were more dangerous than anything on their ship and that way if I was cloaked, by the time I came out of cloak, the shields were going to recharge from the hack. to affect their accuracy, you know. We got a map reveal at the exit. Going into Zoltan 4 is generally quite spooky, but in this case, we do already have hacking and cloaking and really good weapons. So 
I think I'm still gonna upgrade my engines by one just to help me if I need to run. And let's also bring the Lido missile on. We could use more power now and then we'll upgrade onto the Black Axe. Um, let's try to secure the fuel supply. We already have 36 missiles. We're not gonna be trying to run for this because that ship is spooky. Unless we get really good fires and weapons, then it might just get a good hit without the fire rate like that. You go stand in oxygen. Definitely fought some spooky ships. Cloak now and then it can't even target me. There's a possibility to get these two drones up to they can double tap my shield. Uh, I knew if I just cloaked there, then we were going to be able to fire before that became a realistic possibility. Start upgrading hacking. Okay. More free borders. Still, I've got a fair number of kills. You know, this Zoltan has five points of combat XP. That's not normally something you see in Zoltans. I don't think I need to hack this. I, these weapons don't sync up very well, and I should be able to uh, see. Do they only have level one piloting? Well, we don't know. Yeah, I can take one of them offline. I get to meaningfully have a chance to sink them up. It's level 2. 
I don't need to waste missiles. Admittedly, I have 35 of them, so it's not really like I'm in urgent need of stockpiling them, but whatever. I'm gonna do it anyway. Time that. Okay, I've seen the store. It's kind of annoying in terms of its location. Take another jump and then go there. It's the natural mineral protection act. If we hack this room, it's gonna be like you escape, but you're not going to. We don't have a huge amount of scrap here, but if there's something here we can't afford, we could always jump away and come back. Um, is there another store? No. I'm quite tempted by this small bomb. It is better than the Lido missile because it can't be intercepted by defense drones and it does two damage instead of one. It's kind of marginal upgrade, but I'm taking it. And I have no reason to get rid of the Lido missile. There might be a situation where I just want to do one last bit of hull damage, so I'll hold on to it. You don't have to sell something for something immediate, it's generally not worth doing it. Just hold on to it. Unless you like really need to clear out cargo space, you're definitely not gonna use whatever it is you'd be selling it. It's also better for crew kills to slow down. It doesn't do equal damage. As far as energy bombers go, this ship is fairly tame, but its weapons aren't that good. And it's also, like, it's only got level 4 weapons and probably level 4 shields. So you can have energy bombers in this section with level 6 weapons and shields. You know, if they have that plus double offensive drones, which is definitely possible, it's horrifying. I have had that in the Natural Mineral Protection Act event, which means I was fighting that in an asteroid field. Crew kill. Get this up. participate in the study and get a fight that we can deal with really easily. We can go over there. We shouldn't need to hack him. We can probably cook up this. Yeah, those two are in the same room. You get out of there and heal. Yeah, next set of shots in there will take their last crew member out. Cool. That doesn't sell for very much, but it's still something we can sell. And now we can consistently use level 2 cloak and level 2 hack. At this point, if we felt so inclined, we could literally turn our weapons off and use the artillery to kill stuff while sticking things in the cloak axle. And I have done that before on Wind's Freaks if I'm like really desperately behind on weapons. I know 
on my longest streak, I did that on a Fed A run where I was stuck on a burst two in a small bomb in sector four. <laughs> Back. No, I was stuck on that. Well, I was stuck on it in sector five, but I was still stuck on it in, in, in sector four, rather. But I was still stuck on it in sector five, and that's when I got. I think that was when I got cloaking, having already got hacking, and I switched on to using just the artillery for about a sector so that I could recover. <laughs> I don't recommend that, it's not very fun, but... If you happen to need a cure for insomnia, it's useful. We are hacking the fuck out of those weapons. That is entirely more missiles than I'm willing to commit you to have. <laughs> Get a big fire in there. No. You can just stop these assholes from escaping. That's not a bad offer. second store must have been in one of these jumps that we couldn't get to. The sector was kind of split in half after a certain point, and we went to where we had already spotted the store. I go to this distress beacon, or do I go to this unmarked beacon? This could be the Zoltan Border Police on this game. So no. To go and investigate and use our slug to assess his mental state, unfortunately, their mental state is very crazy, so we don't get anything good. What's your specialty? I wish I could remember whether there was a purple sector up next. I'm gonna take this. It's cheaper than what I would pay. I already have all my critical systems. I have enough to buy any weapon I might see. Like, I can sell the Lido for 10, and the, actually the anti drone for 15, so I could buy literally any weapon in the game. And your Zoltan Homeworlds. Zoltan Homeworlds gives me choices for the next sector allows me to potentially avoid a forced abandoned six, which would be quite awkward. Of course, Zoltan five would be quite awkward, but I've already just done Zoltan four. Let's do Zoltan. I'm not too worried about the war at this point. Okay, we've got an immediate store. I'll take one job. Participate in the study and get free stuff. Oh, okay. There's two stores. Yeah! I like this store. Um, we can't get the dual lasers, but if I sell both of these, I can buy the, the dual lasers. Of course we can't get the dual lasers. We can't get the backup battery alongside these weapons. These weapons are amazing. So We will now be 
be able to do tremendous damage to them because they can't evade. Those are not the same bombs. I mean, that's probably a fireball. It's too fast to be an ion bomb, and they also had three power in their weapons. Uh, no, we're not looking at the Zizzle Nye. You can lose crew that way. Do we want to look at this little pocket here? We'd have to double back. But there are more chances to find the Zoltan um, Peace Envoy if we do that. I think it's worth taking at least a couple of these. power into the first three, depowering the weapon that can actually hurt me right now. And we can't get any fires in there, so... No crew kill for us. Looks like I can get two jumps before I go to this. I'll just take one of them. I have to backtrack to this jump to get to it. I suppose I could actually just go here. Can I still get to this if I do that? I'm gonna find out. The answer is a qualified maybe. I don't really have much reason to hold scrap at this point, because my weapons are incredibly strong, I have no reason to. I've already got full systems, yeah, and I've got in-game weapons, so the only thing I could really want in stores are augments, and those are not that upgrades fairly aggressively. Let's get 100%. Oh yeah, I want backup battery, I suppose, but that also isn't that much. So I'll push upgrades fairly aggressively. I didn't hit that system very much, but I blew the drone up, so that will at least give me a reprieve. They have a system repair drone. Let's shoot the locked room. Oh, 
as long as they only have this, they shouldn't be able to do me damage. They won't even be able to redeploy that all that often. I've used two of them already. Go, that's taken down. Let's fire in here and try to blow this repair drone up. Not quite, but you're gonna burn to death. Or like this, depending on how many shields the enemy has. Keep our buffer to buy back a battery if we see it. I need my drum parts. Rebel or NG Homeworlds? Rebel is more dangerous and higher scrap, and since we don't need anything in stores now and are quite strong, let's take it on. Shield bubbles up because double or even triple drone games are highly possible in this sector. Now, so this can't target me. And while this is halfway between, I do that. Partway between the various, like, getting ready to attack these things that it could be in. If it fired at the wrong time, it could have potentially, like, fired and then it immediately gets into a position where it should have. And that's no good. That's no good. Reveal. Cool. This nebula kind of sucks. On the other hand, I can go here, here, there, there, get most of the fights. Yeah, that's worth it. Even if it mostly isn't very good. I'm gonna get this upgrade now because there's a good chance this beacon is the manually search event. And at this point, it's not a bad upgrade to have anyway. No getting there. And those idiots out of my weapon still do a bit of damage. I 
I can actually probably just kill these two in the med bay. They'll do a bit of damage to shields. But they'll actually run in here. Let people die. So let's take them out. Let's give my NG some repair experience. Probably my other crew as well, because I can't be bothered to wait for just the engine. I don't know whether I'll go to that other store. We'll need to take some shots at, uh... In fact, I'll start shooting the pilot since we have plug tax cycles to fall back on. That breaks my plug early, but it also breaks their ship, so it's fine. I'm gonna bring my dual lasers online next. Okay, so it wasn't the manually searching around. That's fine. We are going to obliterate this ship. as many external vents as possible. Try to follow them. Oh, yuck. I don't like this at all. It's my human is trapped in there. Actually, I can do drugs here. I can blow cax like the missile, but. Cloak acts like this idiot in my weapons room where there's a breach. even like run extra people through there to help fight because they could easily end up in this room when attacked. <laughs> Here, the repairs are half speed due to the hack. There we go. I couldn't. 
didn't even use this strat running level 2 oxygen and opening all the internal doors to deal with that boarding drone because I couldn't open the internal doors due to the hack on here. Well, I could open them all except for the area where it mattered. I forget on my shields. And here's one of those double drone ships. Thankfully, their weapons are on right now. I would need a lot of fire, especially since I can't get the control here. Investigate the encrypted signal and take the cache of supplies. Actually, I'm not sure that we can, and, like, I would dive if I knew that extra jump I was taking was a fight, but it might not be, and there could, and I'll be losing whatever is at the exit, so there's no point. Download the data store once. I'm glad that we can get a map one jump away from the exit. I mean, previously we literally got a jump at the, a map at the exit. Second volley off, thanks to our auto reloader, the first two would otherwise have been too slow to go off before they cloaked. We'll scrap just in case we get an immediate store next sector with like a pre-igniter or something. Yeah, that was very close and we got 
very good reward. Go to Slug Hall. Get hacking up. We might now see one of those Sector 7 spaceships with five shield bars. Members we got in Sector 1 are still the only ones we've got this <laughs> That's not gonna stay down too long on the end. Very good. <laughs> They will at least only cloak at level 1. Preemptively stop any escape attempt. Doesn't look like we're going to anyway. Take a look at these. This sees half of the, well, I've already seen one, but there's a 50-50 chance there's a non-nebula storm in this sector, so it's worthwhile quickly seeing all of the non-nebula jumps. Both, uh, you're a little bit heavy on the beams. You could, I think, could you one shot the flagship with this? Let's see, that's eight. If you shield hack, which they obviously can do. Let's see, that would be eight, that would be nine. This, you can do four. So, yeah, you could one shot the flagship with these weapons if you had the ability to do that. But they do not. And relying on just the first two to get your shields this late in the run is a little bit of a Cool, there's my non-nebula store. We should go there because I'm almost out of fuel. And I have a beam two drone. There are weapons there that are up to the standards of the weapons we already have. We can probably kill this. They have four crew and a teleporter and a clone base, so they'll board me with at least two more of their people. Ideally, this NG. Oh, that room is on fire. So is that one. I just need to lock that idiot in. And ah, no, you had just too many inputs. We'll take another story or something, since I don't, still don't have to find the battery. By the way, we can we could keep that ion blast two offline. But I'd rather be able to cloak axe like all this Let's 
take the remainder. Turns out we can't. Drone returns. This. Our second store is one of these jumps. Because there's always two stores guaranteed in the nebula. There can't be one of these. We might not want another store out of that one. Hopefully we won't. But we're refusing that. <laughs> By the way, do you, I don't know if you've got to see how many fucking crew they have over there. Late game selections are extremely obnoxious. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven crew. Probably crew killed it shit by hitting the arm. Yeah, you go and fix that with a mantis. That's the way I do. Yeah, now they have to fight their way through a raging fire to even get in the locked room to even get in the oxygen. And of course, the fire is going to repeatedly spread to and from the oxygen. So we can just wait until they suffocate. Okay. Oh my god, they got out of one hit point, did they? No, they actually didn't. This is the one guy who's battering on the other side. Deliberately unlocked the door here. Make a break and try to get to the med bay, and he's gonna fail.
because that was a pre-battle auction hack, there's no point in killing this ship. It ends up being the same reward. I need to hack this. I missed on firing the heavy laser. Get closer. You can get this multiple times in a sector, apparently. Actually, no, this is a slightly different event. Pay the agreed upon price and we get the bad outcome. So... Go here, I could go here and then double dive at these two. Sector 7 double reward, that isn't great, but it'll do. Let's upgrade my doors. And my evade. I wouldn't mind damage buffering my weapons, but I'll do that in the next sector. This isn't in the nebula, but it's fine. Let's <laughs> go. 
When I took my headset off, I realized I forgot to pull the mouthpiece down when I got back after eating dinner, so you've probably been hearing me rather faintly since then. I apologize for that. You go in there. This weapon setup you could actually justifiably hack piloting instead. I'm actually not gonna wait because I wanna make sure that goes offline. We really are not having much fire luck. Okay, we did get some fire in there. Got you. Got another one. I'm not gonna hang around any longer to try to get one more. It's not generally a good idea to try to farm crew kills in phase two. They're only gonna be able to board me with one person. Let's damage buff the med bay, I guess. I'm gonna actually run my mantis out of this room, because I don't really want, in the worst case scenario, to have a mind-controlled mantis in my shields. That's a little bit difficult to dislodge. You go in there, since you do, in fact, have that skill. Well, that's annoying. Unfortunately, gonna get tagged by the missiles here because they dodge a ridiculous amount. I was considering hacking the missiles here, but I can't. Hey, that Zoltan pilot training I got way back when might actually be helpful. Yep. Oh. 
even as much damage as we have in this case, but who cares? We win. Very straightforward run. That really strong Sector 1 just set us up for success. Good score. A lot of ships and beacons defeated. The scrap collected is sort of middling for that many ships, but... So... Eight in a row now. Three, two, one, go. Okay, Zoltan C, this is definitely the worst ship that we will have played so far on this streak. So uh, I hope you enjoyed the run, and I will see you next time for Zoltan C. Bye for now.